welcome to PC Wids Kids Tech Talk. Today we're going to do an introduction to overclocking starting with a part one introduction. We'll do a part two and a part three. Now this is for Intel and AMD overclocking, okay? So it doesn't really matter. But the things that you have to know here is that use this at your own risk, right? If you don't have the proper cooling and you don't follow the steps properly and have patience, you could do damage to your PC and void your warranty of your CPU. First things first, you do need to have sufficient cooling. Okay, so the uh, factory default cooler is probably not going to do it. You do need one of these um, aftermarket ones, like the ones that I reviewed in my in my other videos. So check those out. You need a good BIOS, a good motherboard that supports overclocking. Not every machine has the options for overclocking. You won't see the overclock settings in the menu, which means that you probably don't have a BIOS that's very good uh, on a board that supports it. So every board is different. They'll have uh, different uh, options displayed in there, but it might give you access to overclocking, okay? So that's what I wanted to make a point. Not everybody has the same machine, same board, same cooler, so you probably won't get the exact same results that I have. Now know your limits, okay? Your limits of your CPU. So do some research. What type of CPU did you buy? What's the maximum temperature reading of that CPU that it can take, right? What's the maximum voltage reading that um, that CPU can can uh, support. So knowing these two things will help you when you go to overclock. You can't just overclock blindly and not know what you're doing because obviously you can burn your 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 CPU and and uh, and be out of luck there. Now you gotta have a lot of patience, right? Trial and error until you get it right. And you're not gonna get it right the first time. Sometimes it takes a while. Now the easiest way to overclock is to start with the bus speed so the front side bus or CPU reference clock depends it's displayed slightly different in every bias right so every bias might have it written in the menu slightly different as you can see here reference clock megahertz 232 is what I have it set it started off at 200 and I increased it little by little and did tests until I reached 232 and that was the stable this CPU in this example has a maximum multiplier of 14.5 so I, it's locked basically so you might have bought a CPU that is not unlocked it's not a black edition that's fine you can still overclock it if you have the options in your bias to incre increase at least the front side bus right if you can do that then that's great and also the voltage of course now in this case I didn't have to increase the voltage I kind of left everything on auto the only thing that I increased for this CPU was just the bus speed so this is the simplest example on overclocking that you'll ever see 232 me uh, megahertz the bus speed everything else on auto and uh, basically I got 3.36 gigahertz from 2.9 uh, gigahertz okay so that's the simplest way you're gonna get it I didn't overclock the Northbridge uh, uh, frequency either just the memory and we'll have a separate video on how to overclock memory okay here's another example in an Intel Core 2 Quad 8400 3.4 gigahertz I got out of that one. Again, multiplier on this one, locked. It's not a black edition. You cannot increase the CPU clock ratio. That's the multiplier, so that comes at 8. And uh, so you skip that, and you just go down to the CPU host frequency, which is the front side bus. That's the, the, the CPU frequency, okay? So again, uh, increase that from the default little by little, saving it, testing your machine, coming back, increasing it again, going through that over and over and over. If your machine hangs after you increased it by two, three uh, megahertz in there, then uh, you have to increase the voltage of your CPU. And I increased this all the way up to 1.4 volts, little by little, until I got it stable, okay? So um, again, not all biases show these menus the same, okay? So I mean, I can't help you there if your bias is, is slightly different, but you gotta look for the options. Now, so this is what it looks like in Windows, CPU-Z running, again, like I said, multiplier is locked at 8, didn't touch that, so the bus speed is the only thing that I can increase, and the voltage, of course. So the rules for increasing this bus speed, this frequency, is um, increase it little by little in the BIOS, so 2 to 5 megahertz at a time, save it, reboot, test in, in your operating system, see if it hangs, stress test it if you want, and then, of course, uh, go back in and increase it again and keep going through that if it hangs in uh, in your operating system Then you have to increase the voltage most likely. Okay, so uh, Here's another example in this other bias uh, other motherboard running um, a phenom 2 that uh, has the multiplier unlocked so the uh, clock ratio there's unlocked 
and I increased it all the way to 18.5 from the default. So the default, it might have come at like 14 or whatever, and I increased it by 0.5 to or by 1, little by little, save it, reboot, tested it, okay, look good, came back in, increased it again by 1, it, it hanged, okay, I went back, increased the voltage by a teeny bit, the CPU voltage, saved it, rebooted, did it hang? No. Okay. Then I went back and increased the uh, multiplier. And I kept on going through that cycle until I got it to 18.5. Same thing for the front side bus. 206, I was only able to get out of that one. So from 200, I increased it to 206. That's all. After that, it would start hanging. So here are some examples, again, on other processors that... Um, that I uh, overclocked and again those are the multipliers the bus speeds and the voltages okay alright so it gives you a good idea on uh, what I was able to get with my machines that I've reviewed so you can take a peek at those reviews and uh, of course we'll review memory and overclocking that in my next video so uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching